Hello, trans servers and the trans serving curious. I am Renee Garcia, and this is Transurfing TV, the only YouTube channel endorsed by Vadim Zeeland. Today, my lesson is going to be on connecting with the higher version of yourself. So your higher self is calling you. Now it is time for you to listen. This is a new decade, a new year, and what a wonderful, uh, what a wonderful intention to start connecting now with that higher version of yourself. So I want to state, and I know this is gonna be a little bit repetitive, but just for those of you who have not heard this before, in the Transurfing modality, there are an infinite number of life tracks. Uh, these are, or lifelines, however you, whatever translation you have read, and how I like to teach it and how I like to view it personally is that the higher my thought quality, the higher my intentions, uh, the more pure my action, the higher I climb up to these upper tracks. Now on these upper tracks, there is a lot of very, very cool stuff uh, waiting for me. It is uh, more money, more success, more fun, more adventure, but most of all, the higher version of my self is sort of waiting for me on these upper tracks. So I need to go up there and meet with her because if I do that, then I reap all the benefits of that higher track as well. So really what it boils down to is uh, if you want something greater for yourself, okay, if you want to get up to one of these higher tracks and you want to connect with that higher version of yourself and have some greater things in your reality, you are going to have to start um, breaking down your belief system as it currently is and start building a new belief system in its place because really what happens is we sort of tap out our potential on a particular track, okay? we uh, The beliefs that we have, the actions we take, our thought quality, it can only lead us so far on a particular track. And if you want to ascend to some of the higher tracks, then your beliefs have to uh, resonate with or the frequency has to be the same as the frequency on these higher tracks. So accepting that you create your own reality is really the, uh, the first and most powerful step in obtaining the ability to climb up and go and you know achieve some of these higher tracks and connect with this higher version of yourself. Um, total accountability for your current life track or your current lifeline is absolutely crucial. Uh, Transurfing is a is an awareness practice. It's understanding that you have the ability to create your own reality, but you have to take accountability for your thoughts and your actions first. Once you do this, it is much easier to connect with a higher version of yourself uh, that will also take accountability, right? And, and, and as you understand all of your movements, all of your thoughts, all of your intentions, okay? And you, and you accept that your reality really is just a mirror presenting back to you your thoughts and attitudes towards it. This is true accountability for your reality, for your current lifeline or your current life track. And it's really the only way to to move up. Um, what you have accepted is true uh, without questioning its value to you. Let me restate that. I, 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 I didn't say that properly. What have you accepted as true without questioning its 
value to you. Again, this is about breaking down your uh, your current belief system, right? We adhere to beliefs and we adhere to ideas maybe that have been presented to us uh, in our environment, from our family, from other people we know, from media, from uh, information coming in, beliefs that maybe don't necessarily uh, help you with connecting to this higher version of yourself. So it, it's it's about questioning what information or what um, truths really, I mean, it, what you believe to be true will uh, will create your your reality for you. So what you currently have is because you have believed certain attributes of your reality or certain information coming to, uh, to you via your, your environment. You have believed that stuff is true and you have taken it and used those, those truths to create the reality that you currently exist in, okay? So in order to create a new one, it is about creating new truths. It's about questioning the truths that you have believed in or you are currently believing that maybe aren't leading you in the best direction. Uh, one of the best practices that I have found for really calling uh, these things to light and addressing them is writing them down. Question your environment. Question what information has come in and and acknowledge it and write it down and put it out there. I mean, I was born into a very, uh, a very, very lower middle class family. I grew up in a trailer park. I mean, I had all sorts of uh, information and stuff coming in my direction that I initially uh, took and regarded as my truth. But then I later, realized that I could redefine this information and I could create alternate truths that would be more in line with this higher version of myself. So that's really all that I did as I started redefining my truths and uh, uh, upon doing so, I created a new uh, reality for myself. Commit to making your life work for you, eliminating beliefs that fuel dysfunction. Okay, so again, acknowledge and break down what information, what material in your current reality is creating dysfunction. Now, this could be dys dysfunction of the mind. This could be uh, poor thought quality. This could be physical dysfunction. Maybe you're getting uh, blood dry by pendulums. You have no energy. It could be all sorts of um, various types of dysfunction in your reality. But the idea is to start eliminating these beliefs that are producing this dysfunction. You free yourself up uh, from pendulums, from negative thinking, from old beliefs that aren't serving you well anymore, and you start creating your, a new reality without these things. So this is really, uh, this is really like purging your environment of anything that does not agree with your trajectory of moving up to this higher version of yourself. I am in a constant state of this. In fact, I rarely allow information or material or beliefs into my environment anymore that does not agree with this higher version of myself. And this keeps my reality um, uh, free of dysfunction. Everything is like a smooth flowing river. I don't have a lot of friction and I don't have a lot of, uh, of, of contradictory information that does not agree with me connecting to this higher version of myself. Allow more good into your life this year. Allow more good into your life today. Uh, people, information, activity. So if you're eliminating, if you're eliminating information and material and people and things that are uh, 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 contributing to dysfunction in your life, dysfunction on your current track, 
start replacing it with positivity start replacing it with people new adventures new material new information are you stuck on watching uh, the media or politics get rid of it and replace it with something else you can do this it's about managing what comes in and what you need to make and how you can make room for that new positive energy in your life today but you have to purge a little first and then start inviting in new good uh, better information into your life um, learn to accept all your higher self is trying to connect you with so this is this is uh, this is going with the flow of variations and outer intention at the same time. Um, your higher self is continuously trying to put you in contact with information and material that is good for you and will allow you to connect with that higher version of yourself. But you have to first be in a position to see it and then you have to be in a position to accept it. So maybe you start asking yourself, what positive material has my higher self been trying to connect me with? And have I been accepting of this? Have I embraced it? Or am I being resistant for some reason? And there's lots of different ways uh, or, or reasons why we become resistant. But really, again, it's about breaking down that old belief system System, okay you are um, it is your right to connect with this higher version of yourself there is nothing that anyone is uh, there's 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 no place that's uh, where there's information written that anybody deserves anything more so than you so you have the right to connect with your success with your power with your higher self with the love that you deserve with the money that you deserve with the higher track that you deserve nobody deserves anything more than anyone else in this world and you are entitled and have the power to connect with all this stuff but you have to acknowledge when your higher self is presenting it to you and be in a position to accept it and that really is is a crucial 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 part of connecting with this higher version of yourself if, if, if your higher self is constantly trying to to get you uh, connected with with information to allow you to ascend and you keep denying that higher version of yourself is going to start to quiet down right so this is really the heart right this is this is a uh, classic heart and mind coordination your heart trying to get you in contact with something greater because remember the soul is limitless the heart is limitless so it's about recognizing when that voice is trying to tell you something and allowing yourself the opportunity uh, to connect uh, love creates healing so if you are not connecting with this higher version of yourself because you're hurt or you're in pain or you're still carrying on with some suffering on your current track uh, love will create a place of healing that's why I started ITI you can go to the group you can get that love if you're not finding it anywhere else everyone there is uh, there to support each other and to encourage each other and really it's a very very uh, it's a very powerful feeling of being embraced and loved by people that are resonating at the same frequency as you so if you are having a challenging time finding a place to connect with love uh, this is your time to develop some place you can go to to rejuvenate uh, yourself and to heal and to know that your world is in fact taking care of you uh, loving yourself unconditionally and connecting with your environment where love is abundant again um, creating a space or connecting with a space where you can go and get what you need get the fuel that you need um, believe wholeheartedly in your success 
and connecting with others that believe in your success too. So not only do we hold ourselves back with our limited thinking and our belief system from achieving uh, this ascension to our higher self, but we uh, pull people into our environment and into our into our lives, onto our life tracks that also uh, hinder us from connecting with that higher version of yourself. So it's about taking inventory asking yourself if a relationship is fueling you going up or if it's keeping you stuck on one of these lower tracks and figuring out what you really need in regards to relationships to get yourself to that higher place. Um, the more expansive your thinking, the more expansive your reality. So this is uh, really my, my key to life. I believe in a limitless reality for myself. I believe in true abundance, true wealth, true spiritual uh, wealth and success. I don't have any limits on my belief system, so I am able to really expand in my reality to a place where I'm not trying to uh, uh, blow my own horn here or anything, but I really feel like I am connecting with this higher version of myself in a way that I don't see a lot of other people doing. The belief system I see people adhering to holds them back and holds them back and holds them back, but it's like riding a bicycle. Once you start getting rid of some of these limiting beliefs, limited beliefs, and believing in a very, very expansive reality, your mirror will show you that back at you, that there is a limitless world out there, but you have to think expansively. Do not confine yourself to a small box, right? Anything is possible. Um, I'm going to leave you all with a meditation that I have done a number of times. It is extremely powerful. Uh, you sit in a meditative position by yourself for about 15 minutes in the dark. Sit uh, cross-legged with your spine straight. Put your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. You can have some soft music playing if you like. And imagine that you see off in a distance your higher self coming towards you, okay? Now imagine this higher version of yourself is radiating a light and slowly your higher self walks in your direction with you pulling your higher self towards you energetically and pay attention to what your higher self looks like. Acknowledge the facial expressions, acknowledge the energy. Uh, your higher self may be speaking to you and draw your higher self in closer and closer and closer to you until you are face to face. When you are in this uh, meditative state and if you practice this a few times, you can actually start interacting with your higher self, speaking to your higher self, and slowly I would recommend doing this, you know, three, four, five times, however many times calls to you, but slowly you can start to feel this, this entity that is your higher self come into your being and actually uh, start to, 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 to join you. So when you do this uh, in your mind, you are connecting with this higher version of yourself metaphysically and you will start to see changes within yourself in your physical reality. I love this exercise. I love this meditation. I don't do it all the time and it's not even necessary that you do it all the time, but the times that I have done it, it helps me immensely. And not only my thoughts and my, my actions, my behaviors in my everyday reality, I, I start feeling like my higher self. So I leave you all with that. Any questions, comment, uh, like this video if you found this of value and peace be with you all guys. I'm so happy to be speaking more about the higher self. I really believe that this is a very, very powerful concept that will help you to achieve uh, greater heights. So comment and like and join us on ITI, the International Transurfing Institute, if you have not already. The link is below. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.